Hello, everybody. I've got another fun one for us today. Um, a great combination of Trello and Pixie Bricks. So one thing that I hate sometimes about Trello is I've started using due dates a lot more lately, and it can be kind of a pain to go in here and change them. And I know I have options with Butler for like creating another or like quickly changing due dates. Like you can automate various things. And I could make a bunch of buttons on the card for like move this to, you know, a week from now, move this to two weeks from now, move this to, you know, tomorrow. I could do all of that. And I actually do, but I don't want it to get cluttered with too many buttons here. So what I ended up doing is using Pixie Bricks, where I made one single button on the card that looks for very, like most common relative times that I have. And I pick it and I hit set and it changes the due date within it. And it's all good to go there. So notice again, uh, tomorrow. Two clicks, literally open the button, select, or I guess technically three, open the button, select what I want to change it to, hit set, and then boom, it is all good to go. I don't have to scroll down even, I don't have to go searching for which button it is because they all look kind of similar, have different icons and hover over it to see is it one week or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to act like buttons are completely problematic, um, kind of can do the job, but I, I just wasn't happy with the way I was making it work in Trello and was going to be obnoxious if I started wanting to have too many options. So um, I'm probably going to start making some more options in here where I can select them, but even if I don't click anything at all, the default is today. So if I quickly add a task, it will, um, let's see, new task, I can basically add it to today. Um, by clicking this and just set and it will automatically set today whereas otherwise what i would have had to do is go to dates and then today would probably have been selected and i could have hit save there but it actually probably would have also saved to whatever last date i had so um so yeah i'm a big fan of that and if you want to see the magic behind the curtain uh, here's how it works inspect Pixie bricks and i will make this um i'll make this available so you can use it too but um let me find my change due date so i actually ended up changing it to a button let me find my uh is my button still showing up yeah let's see where it is it's the same things it's just not a quick bar but um you could do it with a quick bar i had some trouble making it a quick bar because it would um it would just it, it struggled with the um, shortcuts. So, uh, for example, when I would use my, I'm going to update this, change due dates button. Um, when I would change, use the keyboard shortcut to try to find the action, it would, the keystrokes would also trigger uh, Trello shortcuts. So, like, if I typed C for change, it would start to archive the card. Sometimes. It wasn't very reliable, and I realized it's fine. I can do it like this. So, here's how it looks. You click add. I use the button input. I went ahead and selected this members to make a new sort of like card down here and I made it an icon so it was first of all because the styles were kind of ugly and I didn't feel like messing with it and um it just felt easier to um you know separate it as something else so I you can I'll, I'll copy these styles if you want to use them but basically I set I set the width to 45 so it's a smaller button and I the color doesn't really matter because it's an icon but that's from when I was playing around with it and um, so, yeah, I just literally, I keep saying icon, but I mean emoji. I don't even know if it's reading the icon here. So there's that. Next, I added the show modal or sidebar form. And that is, you know, just a, a common form here that has drop down with various options and a default value of different sort of times. And you can add as many as you want here, um, make it set, whatever you want, make sure it's set to modal. Uh, and then, um, yeah, yeah, just pretty common form stuff. I named the field new do. And then I added the parse date brick and basically it took that value from form new do. And th this is a really cool, cool extension if you haven't used or brick, if you haven't used it yet, what it, it literally parses a date from like any sort of text. It can, you know, give you the timestamp value you need um, or more specifically our computers need. So let me just show you what actually returns right here when I do this. So let's say opening this up. I want to say next week at five. So you can literally see over here in my, it's not showing me in my output, but it should be showing over here what's actually coming out on it. And it's going to be a whole object with like the timestamp and the different properties and UTC time or my local time. Let's try it one more time and see if it's going to show us nicely over here. Oh, no. 
Okay, well, not going to show us in here, but generally it would be, let me see if it's, nope, not popping up in that one either. So basically it would generally show over there that object, and I'll show you in a second how we're going to reference that, but Next, what you need to do, this is where it gets a little tricky. The rest of this is pretty much simulating DOM events because we're basically going to mimic the actions of going in, opening the dates module, setting the date to what we want it to be, saving it, and then, yeah, that's basically what we're doing. So there's a few steps we need to do to make that. So first of all, use this selector. I'll copy and paste this and put it in the video, but you want to use this selector to put it in, uh, to click on this dates button. And next, you're going to want to wait for the due date fields to actually load. So add a wait for DOM element. And then once again, I'll paste this selector so you can just copy and paste it in here. But you're going to want to wait for the DOM element to load. And then next, you're going to want to set the input value. So you'll notice once you have this open up here, we're basically saying, hey, click this, open this up, wait for these fields to load. And then when they do, go input in this field, um, the due date field. You want to, this is the object that it's not showing up in PixieBooks right now, but it's clearly working. Um, you want to return at parse date dot local dot date. And that's going to return the string value that we just wanted to inject in there that it'll be able to, Trello can work with that. And then do the exact same thing, except we want to use this selector for the add time. And you're going to use parse date dot local dot time. And so that's. Yeah, that's what we want to use for that. And now we just need to hit save. And this is where I had the most trouble because you would think, oh, I just want to simulate a DOM element and click save. And yes, technically, but that was only working some of the time for me. I was able to make it work more frequently if I made it click somewhere else first before doing that. And I think there was something to do with, for some reason, when Pixie Bricks was setting the state, like Trello itself didn't realize that this had changed. So it was just hitting save, but leaving what it had. So we're going to like basically blur, if you're familiar with the term, and go to something else. So it forces it to save what's in that field. So I used Simulate DOM Event. Um, I just basically clicked, um, I, I think I clicked on this, the, yeah, none. So basically... You know, you could, if you wanted to, you could use this to set a reminder, but I don't need those. So I just clicked that to um, open it up, and then I did the exact same thing again to close it. If you click it and click it, it opens and closes it. And then I added a simulate DOM event to click on this save button, and that seems to work pretty reliably for me. So this is, if you want to see how it works under the hood, that is awesome. If you don't, I'm going to share this extension so you can just activate it. And when you activate it, you'll be able to see it uh, just like this in when, in your page editor if you want to change anything. So really all that I could imagine you wanting to change is maybe this show modal or sidebar form. If you want to add more options to it, all you need to do is literally just hit add item. And you can add as many as you want. You can change these. You can remove them. Um, yeah, go crazy with it. Do do whatever you want there. And um, it will, yeah, you could say things like next Thursday, or you could say things like, um, uh, you know, first Monday or, you know, different sort of things like that. So feel free to have fun with that. And yeah, but let me know if you have any problems with it or if it doesn't work as is from the extension. So um, yeah, happy to help.